All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the bench. This is Untold Stories. Untold Stories is a story that inspires you. It encourages you. It makes you understand these artists and celebrities you are following. Do you know their stories? Do you know their background? Do you know how they're making it in this industry? And do you know you can be one of them? After this bench, I think, and uh, not just I think, but I'm very sure you are going to be inspired and your life is going to be changed by their stories. I'm your official host, Victim Safi Kenya. Find me on Facebook, Victim Safi Kenya. Instagram, Victim Safi Kenya. And I'm finally on Thread and TikTok at Victim Safi Kenya. And tonight on the bench at the Untold Stories, we have one and only. I don't need to introduce him. He'll just have to introduce for himself. And he's known, he's a public figure, he's touching life of a coming artist and established artist outside here. We are going to know more about him. Welcome, bro. Thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, my name is Frederick Otino Pio, but popularly known as Kido Jaugana. Kido Jaugana? Yes. Producer and MBA party, Sauti Yako Kochin Sana, guest Yaga Jakula. Maridi Kido Lakini Macha Changamke. Who is Kido Jaugana? Kido Jaugana is a music producer, uh, is a son, is a brother, and is a father too. A father? Mm. Kido Jaugana is a married producer. Yes. Wow. So, Kido Jaugana? Yes. Oh, can we know more details about you before before this name Kido Jaugana came? Yes. What were you doing before? Mm. I've done a lot of things before. Uh, I've done very many things. Come again. Mm. Because Nico very sure who wants a two, Mesoma, like a Kidogo, a poor producer. The Kwamebu Majaribu, Majaribu, Majaribu. So after fourth, Nilikuja Nairobi. After form four? Yeah, yeah. After I remember. Actually, after fourth, Nili and Abusia first. Okay, wait. Yeah. Ushagoni wapi? Ushagoni Ugenya. So form four at Ugenya? No. At us, Mini Melewa Bondo. Actually, Melewa Bondo. Melewa place in Tonya Moni, your area. So high school mesomia shule gani? Ni mesomia Santa Monica Mago Mixed Secondary School. Actually, uh, I was admission 002 in that school. <laughs> and I was the first person to put on uniform ya yu shule. Sasa ukisema Santa Monica, sasa tunafikiria ni girl school. Ah, ah it, it was a mixed school. Uh -huh. Then after that, so nilisoma hapo after nimemaliza shule ndo nikarudi kwetu sasa ugenya kurudi kwetu ugenya and then uh, first job yangu nil, nilikuwa nimeenda busia so there is this lady alikuwa mteso when nilikuwa shule tukifunga nilikuwa naenda na msaidia ku hotel yake so alina nilikuwa good sana kwa sales so ali, ali prefer kuniweka ku hotel sana so aliniweka ku hotel na nika pale kama sales manager wake so nika nafanya kila kitu ku hotel then nika kuja ku realize she was using me so you are working in hotel. That was my first job. And what yeah, do you yeah. mean by she was using you? Alikuwa na nitumia in in that nilikuwa nafanya vitu zote kutoka 5 na la saa zingine saa 6 na mka saa zingine saa 10 asubuhi. Then alipamia. Mia mia at the end of the day 100. Yes, at the end of the day ana nilipa 100. Kuna fare hapa. Ana fare fare siko nalipa. Though Feel it was uh, equal worth it. And uh, food, I'm going to provide. I mean, you tell you, definitely, I'm going to hotel. So after that, you're going to go to the hotel. You're going to go green from school. So you're going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I feel like it wasn't worth it. So I'm going to go to so vile nilitoroka from that place nikajikuta kwa streets busia umeingia kwa street yes unafanya nini kwa street so nili you need to protest ama ni zi nilitoka pale since nilitoka kwa huyo madam and planned na siku ana do yote so mimi nili nilitoka tu nikaingia street vile nili you niliona sasa amenitumia sana so one night nika ilikuwa on a sunday i think nikamtengenezea vitu zake then mimi nikapaka vitu zangu nikatoka nikaenda nikaeka kwa ni, uh, kuna a friend of my mama alikuwa anaishia area nikaenda nikamwambia niaje niweke hizi vitu zangu nitazikujia mm -hmm. na kaniwekea manguo mimi nikaenda ku ku hustle mtaani so hiyo katika hiyo hali ya kuhasola hakuna mtu anakutrust 
ndio bado ndio ni kwa miang nilimaliza shule nilikuwa mdogo sana uh-huh. so hakuna mtu anakutrust hata ukienda kutafuta job nje hiyo hata nakuangalia na zangu utafanya nini so nikawa life imekuwa ngumu nikaka streets kitu kama so street unamaanisha nini kusema street like ulikuwa na lala hapo kwa street yes. unakula kwa street yes and ulikuwa na wazazi ndio hapo pale wazazi walikuwa lakini sasa unajua nilikuwa nimeenda pale then the first night actually the first night kutoka kwa hiyo madam so unajua nimetoka si, si, hakuna place ningeenda so nikaenda kulala kwa bus stop hapo mm-hmm. busia stage na Oma street boys wakanitoka tenje wamekunyanganya simu eh hey. so kwa okay, nimetoka tenje nikamwacha nita hustle tu sasa so, hakuna vile naweza reach out to say home niko tu hivyo peke yangu paka ile kitu ilianza kunusa zi ah Oh, I thank God message is yet to me. Siko yetu ni drugs. Hiyo period. So ndio kuna madam alikuja akani rescue. Okay, ni unijua mimi pia ukiwa street of a for long. Nika kari karibu 1 month. 1 month ukiwa tu kwa street. Ah, uh, nilikuwa 1 month then one day mimi nilikuwa ni mimi ni yule mse unjua mse yako na intention poa hata ukikaa katikati ya watu they will feel safe with you. Mm. Hata kama wewe ni street boy lakini Uh, uko na intentions poa utaku understand so vile nilikuwa one day nilienda hapo fish market ya Busia so nikawa ni nimekaa hapo na sikiza vinyo sasa unapiga ma story nini nini then mimi msi adaptive naweza ingia malipopote so nilikuwa nimekaa pale na sikiza vinyo napiga story ndio jamaa kare is concern na huyu kijana amekaa hapa for a long time unafanya nini na kwenu ni wapi mm. so i had to speak out mm. so when i spoke out akani waka waka come up na idea then a madam aka decide aka ni pick aka ni chukua aka ni rent your house na kani pay a job mtu si relative yako si sijai mjua amekuchukua tu aka ku rent your house aka kuwekea vitu vya kulala kupika aka ni pay aka ni pay a job kwa alikuwa anafanya hiyo alikuwa na transport fish kutoka busia kule kama Nairobi mm-hmm. so aka ni pay job hapo ya kusaidia kumsaidia kufunga samaki then watu wa hapo pia Mm. wakawa wako zile accommodate ah kuja nitolee kuja nichukulie kuja nichukulie then kidogo kidogo nikapata simu nikapiga simu nyumbani nikasema eh hey, mnajua mimi ni for the past one month nimekuwa kwa street nilipoteza simu sijakuwa ni sijapata time ya kuari mm. kwa reach out then mama kaniambia hata mimi nimekutafuta sana juu yule madam ulikuwa anamfanyia alisema ulitoroka na juli enda wapi mm. eh nikamwambia huyu alikuwa ananitumia vibaya sana anaambia basi fanya hivi rudi nyumbani mm, kuna anko yako anakuanga na gari mm. anafanya hizi ma nini anaendesha nka maruti bungoma nitakupeleka huko aenda kufunze kuendesha gari ah nikaona eri hiyo nikaenda bungoma <laughs> sasa kubungoma kuna hizo maruti uto tu gari tudogo tunakanga mkate hizi ndogo ndogo hizi mm. So mimi nikawa hapo mimi ni makanga tena nafunzwa kuendesha gari. Eh. Nafundu, nafundishwa kuendesha gari lakini ni kwa mimi ni makanga. Hiyo life ilikuwa very tough. Umefanya makanga for how long? Mm, eh pale nilijaribu 4 months. 4 months nilijaribu. <laughs> nilijaribu. <laughs> so at least sasa makanga ilikuwa better than you tell. Sasa makanga bado ilikuwa better because bado pay ilikuwa tu 100. Uh, mm. Though ile sasa siko nafanya uh, si si, si, si na strain kama kwa hotel but kwa makanga pia ilikuwa na challenges zake ilikuwa ngumu ki plan because makanga you meet different faces every day and you need to please them at the same time uh, watu ni tofauti then ako kagari kalikuwa kagari kadogo hivi na inabeba watu tisa inataka ikijaa na wewe pia uhang hapo sasa hiyo kuhang 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 ilikuji na ikanikalia ngumu mimi nikasema mama mimi hii siwezi But hiyo sasa hiyo time nikiwa Bungoma nilikuwa nimeanza ku develop interest in music. Mm-hmm. Hadi nilikuwa nimeanza kufanya writings nini do. Ulikuwa nataka kuimba. Eh nilikuwa nimekuwa nimeanza ku develop. Nilikuwa na film mimi ni msanii kiplani. Hizi tu za kawaida ma wanga. Ah msanii tu za kawaida tu hizi bongo hizi za bongo nini. So nimeanza kuchora mstari ukiwa makanga hapo. Eh sana chora kidogo nikipata ka off naenda mtaani Bungoma na tafuta tafuta ma studio na kosa nasema hai sulu siku moja nitapa nitapata mm. then nikarudi home mm. kurudi home ndio mama kaka mna idea nikuja nijifunze mechanic mm. na Nairobi na ni hivyo ndo nilikuja Nairobi around 2017 so ulikuwa unajifunza mechanic wapi 
Uh, mechanic nilikuwa najifunza pale Ruaka na rafiki yako ama relative yako so mwenye nilikuja mwenye alikuwa ananifunza alikuwa ni kama relative kutoka home so alikuwa ameongea na mama mm-hmm. mama alikuwa ameongea na yeye wakaelewana then uncle yangu anaishigashie so uncle yangu alikubali kuni accommodate for that time umeanza umekuja na sasa umeanza kutengeneza gari nimekuja kujifunza sasa kutengeneza magari mm-hmm. so mtu mwenye nilikuja kwake alikuwa nataka ku crash ku crash alikuwa nataka kunifunza but alikuwa nataka ku crash like anataka kunifunza kwa daraja ya mse oh. nataka yule mse ajue because oh, alikuwa employed oh, pale because eh, yule because yule mse ni nini ni, alikuwa mkiuku fulani sasa na ni strict na kona alikuwa na garage yake hapo na alikuwa ameemploy huyo sasa kuzo hmm. sasa kuzo akasema wewe kuja tu nitakuwa na kufunza hapo by hmm. bad luck kuzo after one month hivi hata si kwa nimeshika mavitu kuzo akakamatwa na DCI mbona alikuwa ameundia mlami fulani number plate hizi number plate za UN kuna vile walikuwa naziunda hmm. so alikuwa ameunda number plate ya UN kitambo sana na huyo mlami akashi akashikwa sasa so, huyo mlami kushikwa akamsema aka akasema mwenye alimuundia mwenye alimuundia sasa DCI wakamtress mimi nikabaki mataani sasa kubaki mataani yo bata bado hujajua sijajua hata kitu ndio nimekuja mbado niko green nilikuwa nimekuja kufunzwa hapa nilikuwa naishi na yeye pia sasa alikuwa naishi na uncle yangu mwingine but huyo alikuwa kuzo oh, oh. Uh, sasa yeye alikuwa anakaa na side za ruaka lakini uncle alikuwa naishi gashie so nilikuwa natoka gashie naenda ruaka gashie tu ruaka so akanini aya aka ameshikwa nikabaki na huyu huyu nani umkiuka hapa akaenda kitabu saa gitawa kaanza kufeel ni kama mimi simsaidi juu unajua bado siko najua kazi juu eh. na haizi kubali nijifunze hapo na sijamlipa sasa ndio kuna jamaa anaitwa Clinton Adwar huko Clinton Adwar moja tu eh, eh. Adwar alikuwa yeye alikuwa chief mechanic hapo hiyo mm-hmm. alikuwa ameiva Adwar alikuwa ameiva kabisa kazi sasa mm-hmm. sasa Adwar ndiye akanihurumia akasema sasa kido wewe sio time siko anaitwa kido kwa anaitwa Fred alikuwa anaitwa Fred hakuwa uh. jana anaitwa kido sasa akaniambia fanya hivi mimi nitakuwa nakufunza hiyo ngazi sasa Edward ndo akanichisha akaanza kunionyesha sasa story na yeah, sasa alikuja akaanza kunionyesha story za engine yeah, story za kuunda engine nini sasa the, the mechanic part of the of the vehicle Adina kumbuka tumefanya naye kazi kadhaa akipata aki mission nje ananiita tunaenda na kwa mtu wake wa mkono yeye na wa, Eugene Wanjiru mm. walikuwa watu wazuri wa sana kwangu wananichukua tunaenda Clinton Adwara amekufunza for how long Sasa Clinton Adwara alinifunza for one month na since hata na yeye bado alikuwa tu kwa huyu huyu gitao sasa singekaa sana yule mzee alianza utiaji mm. akanichuja <laughs> alianza utiaji akanifukuza sasa vile alinifukuza nikarudi tena niko blank sasa bro wa kuzo mwenye sasa kuzangu mwingine mwenye mwenye bro wake sasa alikuwa ndani alisikia story vile ninaenda naye alikuwa amejua panel pia yeye sasa yeye ndo akaniita kuje tukaange na wewe kwa ma kwa mawe sasa so, kukaa kwa mawe ni kwenda ku, ku nini sasa kwa garage tu hapo uh, sasa ni garage tu kiba kiwanja bahati yako So ndio nikaenda kuanza kukaa hapo na yana akaanza kunionyesha anga one two gari kikuja na nifunza. Sasa hapo ni ukitoka Ruaka kuna nini pale ni Pan Sijui Dedero hiyo area. Sasa so, ndio akaanza kunipeleka na rada na nini za gari. Sasa nikiwa hapo life ilikuwa ngumu sana. Though nilikuwa nakaa kwa Anko si kwa nimerent. Anko alikuwa ananishughulikia vitu mob but life ilikuwa ngumu sababu I have to walk every day to that place naenda kukaa pale. Anko is provide lunch every day sometimes and anchors. Mm. So life ile kwa ngumu sana. Sasa hiyo time ndo nili develop interest kabisa kwa music. Kwa music. Sasa umesema acha sasa kaende kaende. Yes, hapo ndo sasa nikaanza ku develop interest kabisa na muziki. Mm. Nili develop kabisa hadi nikaanza nika ni, anakumbuka first thing yenye nilifanya niliunda ma posters. Mm. Nili nili nilipata 50 bob kwa posters. Ah ah nilipata 50 bob nikaenda nika print nikaandika tu hizi kama zile unaona zile za waganga za miti ni shamba nikasema are you a comedian sijui nini nini audition nini 
nikaanza kuzipost post hivi kila mahali nikienda nikienda nikaweka namba yangu nilipata masimu kama mia mbili kutoka kwa hizo nini watu alinipigia wengi sana then from there mi nilianza kama nilichekishwa ni kama ni comedy show but then baadaye nilikuja music because ndio lead through nikapata na mse na huo mse ndo ni alikuwa boy boy tu akaniambia ni kama akaniambia eh baada napenda comedy lakini anaimba anaimbanga nikamwambia eh mimi kwanza kuimba napenda sana mm. ndio akaniambia kuna jamaa best yangu ako na studio hapa gashie na studio yake ni nzuri sana naweza kupeleka tukaenda so kuenda nikamwambia bro mimi niko na tamaa ya kuimba lakini sina pesa so kitu alafu bado mimi najifunza mekanik kuku mm. kitu ndafanya nikipata doki nitakuwa nakusanya kusanya ado nikipata na kuletea alafu ndio ni record mm. na hiyo time nilikuwa na passion sana na mziki so bidii niliweka mingi so nikaenda nikaenda baada ya wiki moja sasa anko yangu akini alikuwa ananipea lunch na feature hiyo mm. chuani sikuli na, naweka huko mm. pia huko huko kwa garage pia nikiangukia kazi ya mkono na save mm. Nika, i think nilitengeneza na fast 700 fast <laughs> <laughs> I think now you can see what people go through to make it in life. You can see these celebrities you are following, celebrity you are mm. crushing for, what they're going through, how they made their name. It is not easy. It is yeah. not a walk in the park. So that challenge is you are going through, you are going to overcome it. Watch out for part two coming soon. The show is in partnership with Manyala Auto Garage. They call me Victor Musafi Kenya. Still on the bench with producer and music guru Kido Jaugana. Yes. Waged for part two on the untold stories. Thank you.